Rosalie may just be the sim with the worst daddy issues to ever exist. So last time we talked, Gwyneth Westwood, the founder of my not so berry challenge, stayed at home being depressed about her ugly ass ex-fiancé Joseph Bastianich, while her daughter and our heir, Rosalie Bastianich, spent a romantic night with her now boyfriend, Finley Broke, him asking her to become his girlfriend, before confronting her father Joseph in Oasis Springs, finding out that he'd broken his sobriety and promising herself to never contact him again. Yeah. Good luck with that one, Rose, our heir headed back home, ignoring her mess of a mother. While Speckles watched Bella cry in the closet, Joseph isn't even your biological dad and adopted you just to please Gwyneth. Why is she taking the breakup so hard? Whatever, Rosalie wasn't gonna think about her dad or her mom and their bullshit and just focus on her homework and finishing her last few days of high school left. That was until her sister Bella came upstairs to yell at her unprovoked, okay, fuck this. Rosalie was leaving, again, to see the one sim in the world that wasn't being an asshole to her today. Her boyfriend Finley broke. She wasn't gonna talk to him about her home life, she just wanted to focus on them and their new, exciting relationship. He made her feel so much better and forget all her troubles in a matter of seconds. He had a way of doing that, making her happy with little to no effort. They didn't have to speak. Simply being next to him was enough. But as Rosalie was held by her childhood best friend, she felt the overwhelming feeling as if she was forgetting about something. What could she possibly be forgetting? But luckily for her, Finley reminded her. Tonight is prone. And he would like the honor of being her date. Of course she said yes. All the bullshit made her completely forget about one of the most important nights of a teenager's life, prom. Finley knew it was so last minute, but they just started dating last night. He thought maybe another guy from school had or would ask her. But thankfully, that wasn't the case. Finley are attending prom together. And that's when she realized she doesn't have much time to get ready. So she said bye to Finley and rushed back home. Luckily, she already had a dress she picked out sitting in the closet. All she needed now was skincare, hair, and makeup. She then went to her bedroom to try on her dress. And, wow, she knew she looked damn good. Literally was in awe of herself. She's just like me. She stared at herself in the mirror for quite some time, making sure every detail of her outfit was perfect before i got this pop-up about bella a difficult family dynamic with gwyneth what is going on whoa why are you yelling at gwyneth first rosalie now your mother bella you're low-key beginning to piss me off i'll never understand why you're this upset about joseph he left you on the ground of a bar to cheat on gwyneth as punishment for yelling at her mother unprovoked gwyneth decided to ground bella something she'd never done before she took away her electronics for the weekend. My, look at the damage Joseph has done to this family. Whatever, Rosalie didn't care, because Finley was here, and he looked good, and he said the same thing about her. Um, Dear God Gwyneth, missing Joseph bad, are we? You too. It's literally fucking pouring rain. Maybe we should get inside and not ruin our prom outfits. But of course, not before taking some selfies. The lovebirds then headed inside so Finley could greet Gwyneth before leaving. Gwyneth was so pleased to see Finley again, finding it adorable that the two of them were going together as friends. Yeah. About that? Whoops, gotta go. Finley headed to their prom. Rosalie so excited to see her friend Santos and Courtney, out of recovery already. Rosalie was surprised to see her here considering she was just getting cut open yesterday. Courtney said she didn't care if she dies tonight. She wasn't gonna miss prom. You know what? I appreciate her honesty. She asked how her godson is doing. And Courtney said that he's great. Currently being babysat by her sister. Rosalie couldn't wait to see him again. Court, babe. Maybe you should have stayed at home with your newborn. Finley, again, with the hands. Rosalie.
Rosalie and Finley spent some time with their friends before taking a moment for themselves, heading to the photo booth to take some cute prom selfies. And right after was when it was time to announce prom royalty and jester. Rosalie hadn't told Finley this, but while he was getting punch, she may have snuck his name into the prom jester category about 10 times. He won by a landslide, and her good friend Santos won royalty. She was so happy for the both of them, and she thought Finley looked so adorable with that hat on, there wasn't much time left, since proms in this game go by lightning fast. So Rosalie wrapped up her night by slow dancing with the jester. She had so much fun with him tonight, and the ghost DJ was playing the best music. Who knew the dead get down like that? She took some pics in the photo booth with Courtney as well, and after that, it was time to go home. But Rosalie didn't want to go home. Home, not back to her emotionally unstable family, so Finley agreed to hang out with her at the bluffs for a few hours. She had such a good time tonight. She was so happy to see Finley win Jester and Santos win royalty, and to see Courtney happy and healthy postpartum. It felt good throwing on a pretty dress, caking on some makeup, and letting loose with her favorite sim in the world. And that's when Rosalie realized. She hadn't thought about her father Joseph almost all day, and it nearly brought her to tears. When she remembered him again, Finley asked her what was wrong, she was having so much fun. And that's when Rosalie let it all out. Finley knew that Joseph is an alcoholic and that Rosalie's relationship with him was unhealthy. But he didn't know the details, and as her now boyfriend, he deserved to know. Rosalie didn't just get into a fight with her dad two nights ago. She found out he cheated on her mother and got another woman pregnant, and that she has a sister named Tessa somewhere in the world. She told him that he neglected her growing up, that the only reason he wanted a relationship with her was because of his guilt for cheating on her mother, and how he called her a harlot on spooky day because of the dress she wore. She told him about Joseph not liking Finley because she slept over over at his house after spooky day and was convinced that he'd try to woo her with her. She lied about her dad a lot, out of shame and because she felt the need to protect him, and she was sorry. Finley felt so bad for his girlfriend, she didn't need to apologize for anything. None of that was her fault. All she wanted was for her dad to love her. No wonder she gave him so many chances. Rosalie let out a sigh of relief. Yes, that is exactly what she wanted, for her dad to love her. It was almost eerie how easily Finley understood her. No one else has ever been able to read her like that, and she liked it. She's not a harlot, he told her, she is a beautiful, magnifying, caring girl. And he was so lucky that he's able to call her his best friend and his girlfriend. He didn't want her to think about Joseph. What that degenerate says doesn't matter, but if she does happen to think about him and it gets to her, she can always come to him. He never wants to hear about her bottling any of this up ever again. She has him now. Finley had no idea how much Rosalie needed to hear all of that. For the first time ever, she felt understood, listened to, and cared for and by a male. She never thought it would be possible. She genuinely felt listened to by Finley and safe in his arms, and he comforted her until every tear of hers was wept. She knew that her and Finley would be all right. She knew that she didn't need Joseph, and she knew that she loved Finley broke with all of her heart and wanted nothing more than to be with him for the rest of her life. Joseph means nothing to her now. 